started uh, 67 years ago this year with the National Turkey Federation uh, presenting the turkey to the president. It's a huge thing for our family, for our company. Um, this is the second time that we've got to do this. In 1996, my brother Jim, uh, <clears throat> who's our CEO, uh, took a turkey, two turkeys to the White House to see President Clinton. It's kind of the pinnacle of the turkey industry, um, so it's uh, the highlight of my dad's career, and you know, and I've got to enjoy that with him. There's three of them in here. I know he's one of them, so I can see his tail feathers. He's one. Um, this guy's one. I think it might be this guy. The biggest thing has probably been the training part, trying to get him used to me handling them, getting them up on a table, getting them used to standing there. Um, most of these birds don't want to just stand at one spot. They want to be with the flocks. In essence, they're all kind of getting pardoned. Um, there might be a few in here that, that make it to the dinner plate, but not all of them are. Yes, no. I'll do it if you tell me to. <laughs> yeah. This is a big deal, and it's a big deal every year, and we get to be see it before it becomes the biggest deal when it goes to D.C. This is the kind of thing we're talking about. Family farms like Cooper Farms, which are doing such good work to promote Ohio agriculture. Everybody's you know, quite proud of the fact that we get to supply the turkey again to the White House. And hopefully maybe get a tour.